Okay, so I've been meaning to talk about this, but I didn't when it was announced. And it's funny too because when I did my video on, uh, basically, I, when I did the video for uh, my my thoughts on the uh, Daredevil Netflix TV show. Sorry, I was a little scatter scatterbrain right there. Some my good friend Jason Voorhees, twenty eleven. Uh, messaged me and said, hey, it's kind of funny that you mentioned this because today they've just announced who's going to play Daredevil. And I looked into it, and I'm sorry I, I didn't do a video sooner, but I was kind of busy, so I'm just going to talk about it now. Probably not going to be a long video, because here's the thing. The actor who's playing Daredevil is an actor called named Charlie Cox, who I have no clue what to expect from him. He, ha he has been a regular character on HBO's Boardwalk Empire, which I've never watched. It's one of those shows I've been, like, meaning to watch, but can't get around to doing it, so... I really, uh, like, Boardwalk Empire is something I've kind of wanted to watch for a long time, but, eh, I just can't, you know, find the right time to get into it, you know what I mean? I want to see it, it's just, that's... You, <laughs> I just can't find the right time to get into it, you know? Anyway, so, hey, I hear nothing but good things about Boardwalk Empire, and apparently he's go he's been in several other TV shows and soon to be other movies, and yeah. So to me, he's unknown. To anyone else, to anyone else, or any of you guys out there, he may be a better known actor uh, in terms of uh, career-wise. He I, he just hasn't been anything as of yet to uh, to be like, oh, Charlie Cox. Okay, I know him. I literally looked through his work. It's very impressive. I just never watched any of the things he's been in. But he, it looks like he's been in a lot of drama type stuff, which Daredevil has his share of drama, so I can I can buy that. The only thing, like, when I first saw him, I was like, wow, he, he looks really young. But then again, Daredevil started out pretty young, and who know? and, you know, people are, some people, I haven't really heard, actually, it's kind of funny, because as far as I know, I haven't heard anybody go, oh, yeah, this, this Charlie Cox guy's gonna suck as Daredevil. When... Actually, I haven't heard, again, I haven't really heard anything from anybody when Daredevil, when Charlie Cox was announced to play Matt Murdock. I didn't really hear anything negative. In fact, I didn't really think hear anything at all. <laughs> um, but no, I do, do I have faith in him? That's the big question. I do have faith in him, because here's the thing. I think this is a good way to use unknown actors. It's always good to go with unknown actors, because it always shows how much untapped potential said actor has. And you know, I'm quoting my good friend, uh, the Mount Vernon kid, on this. But I think he's going to be—he's an interesting pick. Again, it's not someone I would have—not someone I would have uh, gone with because I don't know him. But hey, he might easily surprise me. Remember how many people were surprised with uh, <laughs> with uh, Heath Ledger as the Joker, or you know, Chris Evans as Captain America? I know those are like the two that really like. Oh, you can't keep going back to those ones. You kind of have to because they're the, the two big out of the out of them all. Um, they're the kind of the ones that are make you go, "Wow, wow, I'm impressed." Those are kind of like the ones that had the biggest naysayers to them. Out of all the people, who are like he can't be that character, or he can't be that character, or she can't be that character. Uh, Chris Evans and Heath Ledger were like the two biggest. Were like this is impossible. So you know, I'm gonna give Charlie Cox a lot. Uh, I'm be very optimistic about Charlie Cox. Um, once again, like I said, Daredevil's a very dramatic, has a lot of drama to him, depending on if they're going to go like the Marvel Now with the Mark Waid stuff, or they're going to go with uh, the Frank Miller stuff. Again, there's a lot of stuff you could cherry pick for Daredevil. Like I said, um, it could be a lot of fun. Now I'm just kind of curious of who else they're going to get in terms of like Foggy Nelson and Karen Page, assuming they use her. Uh, the Kingpin, Bullseye. I'm really curious, like, what, who else is going to be played, because so far, this is the only one, really. Anyway, um, real, that's really all I have to say about this. I wish I could say more, other than, you know, all else I can say is, you know, good luck, Mr. Charlie Cox. Uh, very pop you're playing a very popular character, and you're, st you're kicking off the Marvel Netflix cinematic, the Marvel Netflix side of the cinematic universe. I don't even know how to fucking word that. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, let me. what do you guys think of this uh, of this actor playing Daredevil? Do you guys like him? Do you guys not like him? Um, and who, do you, who would you cast for uh, the other actors? I'm really curious, like, who who are your fan casts for the other Daredevil, for the other Daredevil characters like Bullseye and uh, you know, Karen Page, again, assume if they use her, uh, Foggy Nelson, Phil Urich, Kingpin, all those other guys. 
Me personally, I would have like um I would go with John Favreau again. Well, you can't. I, I would like to go with John Favreau as Foggy Nelson. Sadly, he's off being um, Happy Hogan. So, well, he's off. He's happy doing nothing right now because I don't think we'll ever see that character again. Sadly. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.